Hey everybody, I got my Neuro Energy Gum today. I'm going to start using it because uh, I drink a lot of coffee during the day, but it's summertime and I'm getting kind of tired of drinking hot coffee. This stuff has some caffeine and other ingredients in it. It comes in a pretty cool box, pretty cool packaging. So I'm going to open it up and look at the ingredients real quick. The main things are uh, natural caffeine and l theanine with B vitamins. Okay, so I opened her up already and it actually comes with the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Pulled one of them out. Oh, it says on the box anyways, uh, six packs, 54 pieces. So I am going to pop some in and go for a run and then I'm going to use it for a week and I'll get back with you where the ingredients, I already told you the main ingredients. It does say, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on those letters, vegan, aspartame free, sugar free, gluten free. Uh, it says neuro, let me see if I can read it. Neuro energy and focus is specially formulated with natural caffeine, L-theanine, and B vitamins to sustain the mental endurance necessary to maintain your focus. Directions take one to two pieces. I did read online, it is safe to take it even if you drink coffee. It says contains 40 milligrams of caffeine per piece, not recommended for children, pregnant or breastfeeding women, and persons sensitive to caffeine. I'm not sensitive to caffeine, I've been drinking it pretty much my entire adult life. It does say other ingredients, sorbitol, natural flavors, calcium stearate, spirulina flakes, sucralose, monk fruit, and stevia. I'm not too excited about the sucralose. I've heard the loses aren't too healthy for you, but it probably doesn't have very much in it. So, Anyways, I'm going to try it out for a week, and I'll get back with you and let you know how it goes. Okay, so I've been chewing my neuro gum for over a week now, actually two weeks, but just off and on. I tried chewing it daily, um, <clears throat> mainly because I was looking for a substitute for uh, hot coffee during the summer because I get tired of uh, drinking hot coffee during the summer for obvious reasons. Plus, I heard it's pretty acidic, but uh, I did recently find out about cold brew coffee, which I'm going to use instead because I really didn't like this gum. I tried L-theanine uh, years ago, so I should have known better, but uh, if you click on it here, it has the ingredients. I had to go down to find out how much L-theanine was in it. I already knew it only had 40 milligrams of caffeine, which is supposedly a half a cup of coffee, so I was pretty excited about it, but uh, uh, it just didn't work for me. It just I don't know why L-theanine just kind of makes me sleepy, even with the caffeine. So I kind of looked up theanine side effects, and... Oh, some of them, uh, some of the side effects, uh, says L-theanine may cause mild adverse side effects such as headache or sleepiness, which I was surprised, sleepiness was definitely a problem for me, which kind of defeats the purpose of taking it, but it just say insufficient evidence for Oh, ability to pay attention was one of the claims that it made. Early research shows that taking L theanine 200 milligrams before a test improves attention, but lower doses might not help. So I did switch over here. I did find out how much L theanine it has in it somewhere down here. Oh, it does have a uh, sucralose in it, which I know is definitely not good for you either. So it's probably not really good to take. Uh, daily anyways I don't feel like going into sucralose if you really want to you could look it up yourself oh. right here each piece of neurogum is 40 milligrams of caffeine and 60 milligrams of L-theanine so according to WebMD it's a pretty uh, authoritative website in the medical field you, you would need 200 milligrams before something that requires improved attention so then this says that you wanted two sticks of the gum two pieces of the gum would be 120 milligrams of L-theanine so you'd probably need three and a half you'd have to chew four pieces of gum at once to break the 200 milligrams of L-theanine but uh, anyways just give my honest 
review. I just it just didn't work for me. So I usually go through the uh, product reviews. I really like Amazon because they do have a ton of uh, uh, reviews on here. If I can find them real quick, where are they? Where are they? Reviews. Here we go. C customer ratings. Let's see if I can click on all the ratings. Top reviews. Let me get back on the reviews real quick. Let me go to uh, most recent reviews. Which, uh, by the way, I did want to make a point. I do review quite a few products here on my YouTube channel because uh, I enjoy it, and they're mainly products that I use in everyday life or products that I want to use. So. I try, I try a lot of them out, and I just give my honest opinion. Which, uh, this one definitely, 4.2 stars out of 5 really isn't that good. Uh, with 4,679 ratings. I mean, if a product works, it works. If it doesn't work, um, this one might work for some people, but 4.2 stars out of 5 really isn't that good. For Amazon reviews, you're looking at 4.8 to 5 stars if something really does work. 4.8 is pretty good because some of the reviews are going to be for like shipping and stuff not the actual product performance so but you can see right off there's four stars five stars and then bam it already goes down one star but that one is from uh, shipping so that one doesn't count towards product performance five stars again here's two stars based on the performance so it works two stars again based on performance three stars it's not that great so you really shouldn't be getting that many low star reviews right away out of the most recent reviews. So it's really, really not a solid product. Uh, disappointment is there me measurable, one star right away. And these are the most recent reviews going down at four stars, one star, one star, one star, four stars. It's just going back and forth. So I mean, it is one of those products that obviously it's either going to work or it doesn't. Maybe some people just uh, don't like L-theanine that much. If you don't want to spend that much on this gum, you could go get a really cheap L-theanine supplement from Walmart and just take it with some uh, coffee or something that has caffeine in it and see how you react before you spend that much money on this gum. But uh, it really didn't work for me, so uh, if I were you, I would just go get the uh, cheaper L-theanine supplement. I mean, it's only 21 bucks, but I'm pretty sure... Well, let me look real quick. Pretty sure you can go to Walmart or Walgreens and get the L-theanine supplement pretty cheap. And just take me a quick minute to look it up here. L-theanine. Theanine and health. Oh, L-theanine 200 milligrams popped up right away. Let me click on that one. You only have to take one of those to get improved. Anyways... There you go, $5.94 for a bottle of L-theanine capsules. You can go get those for a lot cheaper. Take them with some uh, coffee and see how it works, if it works. And uh, you don't really like the L-theanine in coffee, you can uh, order the gum. But that is a much cheaper way to try out the ingredients to see if they work. Uh, for me, I would just take the L-theanine in coffee anyways, because I drink the coffee black. It's more natural. But like I said, I'm going to switch over to cold brew coffee during the summer. I just drink like one cup every two hours and then I quit drinking it after 2.30, 3 o'clock just so I can uh, sleep good and it doesn't affect my sleep. So uh, that's my honest review. So happy shopping.